Hello, hello. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Sorry, reaching over the tanks to see if I can find this on my iPad. Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe it's not going to show me today. I don't see anything popping up. Hi, Vanessa. Welcome. I'm waiting to see if I can um, get it to pop up on my iPad. Sorry, I'm leaning on the table and it's shaking. Hi, Ashley. So, we've had all kinds of technical issues the last few days. And now, how are you, Vanessa? Hi, Colleen. Hi, Rachel. How are you, friend? Well, apparently it is just not going to put this on my iPad at all, at all today. Not sure how uh, you're finding me. When it will not even bring up on my my own home feed. All kinds of other things from seven hours ago are popping up, but not me. So Oh well. Oh well. Oh you know what? Let's see. I don't know. Since we had issues last night, I had absolutely no Wi-Fi. We're getting ready to um, change companies and um, that just not getting notifications, huh? When you're on any other time but Monday. Oh, that's weird. Hi, Joyce. How are you? I was just thinking about you the other day. So it says I am on Wi-Fi. So let's go back to my feed. Well, guys, I'm just not going to be able to see all the comments tonight because it's not going to show me the feed. So once I turn the, the camera down onto the water, I won't be able to see what you're saying. So I'm not ignoring you at all. I just won't be able to see it because it'll be pointing down. So this is so frustrating. Come on, Facebook, get your act together. Get your act together. I think it's still trying to catch up from me being um, not connected last night. But oh well. How is everyone's day? Today was Tuesday. Oh, it was so much better than yesterday. I was crazy busy at work yesterday. Came home just dragging myself in the door. Hi, Patricia. And um, oh my gosh, I was so tired. And then to find out we had, well, Wayne told me we had no um, internet before I got home, but I was hoping that it had, you know, kicked back on and done the thing, but no, no such luck. So um, we just were without last night and I was gonna go ahead and try my cell service. Hey, Shelly, hi, Natalie. Um, now, as usual, if you would sprinkle out this video, I would appreciate it. I am still trying to grow my page. I did not reach my goal. I know it was a very lofty goal at the end of last year. So we'll just carry it over to 2022. So if you can sprinkle this out so uh, I can get some new viewers, that would be wonderful. Hi, Nancy, welcome. Um, when you pop on, let me know um, from where you're watching and what's your weather? Ours is cold. We have an inversion, no snow. I can see it out in the mountains though. We have um, the Owyhee Mountain Range is what I can see from my house. Thank you, Shelly. And um, it's absolutely beautiful when there, there's snow out there. So I can see it got some new snow today. We don't have any snow. It's just cold in the 30s. And it, hi, Marilyn. And hi, Carrie from Northern California. All right. I hear you've been getting a lot of snow down in uh, Northern California.
But anyway, so tonight I'm going to try a couple new things. You know how I love to try new things. So, um, seven inches in South Carolina, Spartan, Spartanburg, South Carolina. That's not fair. Yeah, very cold and no snow. That's exactly like here. If it's going to be cloudy and gray and cold, there needs to be snow. But um, so tonight I'm trying a couple new things. Actually, I guess one new thing. Well, no, two new things. I'm fairly confident one of them will work, but we'll see to what degree. So um, let me, North Carolina, icy. Ooh, ice isn't good. Um, so let me turn the camera down. If it makes you seasick, go ahead and look away for a second while I get it down. And I'm going to have to be bending down to look since it's not, it just refuses to show on my iPad. Absolutely refuses to show. <coughs> so, oh well. So I'm going to point it down. Let's see. Step over the water bucket. I need to turn it so I can get it down a little bit farther. Okay, here comes my big old face in the in the view. Is somebody having a birthday? Happy birthday, Patricia. I, I won't sing. You don't want to hear me sing. But I'm wishing you a very happy birthday. All right. Let's see if I can get this. That's pretty good right there. So I'm going to lock it down. And remember, I'm not going to be able to see your comments. Because the um, it's literally pointed straight down. All right, so I already know what colors I want to do for this first piece. So I just have to find it. I think I'll use these two. I have to have my paper towel as you know I cannot marble without a paper towel so today was a much better day at the office um, than yesterday I have so many things on my mind about um, creating that sometimes I have a difficult time focusing on what I'm supposed to be doing at the office but yesterday I was so busy I could only only worry about what was on my desk Today was a little calmer, and then right at the end of the day, about an hour before um, the end of the day, my email went down. And of course, everything I needed to do was by email, or it was our, also our calendaring system, so I couldn't, couldn't look up phone numbers, couldn't uh, schedule any appointments, couldn't, uh, couldn't do anything. Couldn't send out documents. I was just dead in the water. All right, so now we can start. And for those of you who may be new, my name is Linda Anderson. My company is Aqueous Silk, and I am a water marbling artist. This is acrylic paint floating on the surface of the water. The water's been thickened ever so slightly with a little bit of seaweed powder. And I usually always start with white. This is about surface tension. So if there's enough paint on the surface, then the colors are more vibrant because they push against one another. So let's see, do we have, where's my pen? I need my pen. Lately, the tips have been getting um, clogged up. Yep, so I just keep this straight pin in here. 
here soon. I'm going to be marbling, not tonight, but in the near future, I'm going to be marbling some more fabric for a quilt. Let's see, where'd my... Right there. I had a little piece of... I painted this tank. No, not this one. I don't know what this is. Must be a piece of... Um, must be a piece of paint that I peeled off this top from where it's always running. So now let's see what we can do. There we go. So this is just a pretty blue. We're only using two colors this time. And then I'm just gonna freeform this design. I don't want anything very specific because this is just going to be a background. Again, I cannot see the comments because they're on the phone that is pointed down. My iPad is just absolutely refusing to cooperate tonight. So I told you last week, or maybe it was a week before, I don't even remember now, that um, I also do counted cross stitch. And I haven't done any in a while. I'm one of those people, I do a lot of creative things. And every time I pick something new up or revisit something I've done before, it's like, oh my gosh, this is so fun. Why haven't I done it? And I have a feeling that's going to be the way it is with this as well. Because it's just so much fun. I love working with thread and uh, fabric. Obviously, that's what got me into marbling is my love of fabric. All right. So I think that will do nicely. So this is a piece of a dia cloth. This is what's used for a count of cross stitch. So I'm gonna marble my background and then you can watch the um, progress as I then cross stitch over the top of it. And I've decided I'm going to do a flower on this piece of cloth. I'm just not sure how this, I did not wash it. This is all raw edges and it's an open weave. So I'm afraid it would fray crazy, even if I zigzagged or something. So I didn't wash it, but I did prep it. All right, so let's see how it's gonna look coming out of the tank. And I'll try to get it turned over here. Oh, it, it marbled. Wonderful. Look at that. And so I'll rinse this and then I'll go in the other room and hang it up. And the rinsing is just, it goes in a bucket of regular water. Just takes the excess paint off and any of the size that may have come with it. Okay, I will be right back. Oh my gosh, guys, that looks so pretty. 
Now I can't wait to choose my flower. So if tell me um, what's your favorite flower? Post that on here and that'll help me um, see what kind of patterns I can find and that'll help guide me with uh, the design that I end up doing. It looks so pretty. I'm so excited. <clears throat> and I'll be sure to um, keep you involved the whole time I'm creating that. I love portable projects. I always take projects everywhere. I showed you um, the bangle bracelets that I've been crocheting with beads. And that was a portable project that I took um, when I went up to see our youngest daughter for Christmas. And that's actually when I learned to do it. It took me probably five or six starts and rip it out and start and rip it out before I got it right. So it's so much fun. One more time. I'm just lifting the paint that's remaining on the water off so I'll have a nice clean tank to marble again. I am so sorry I cannot see your comments. But if you would sprinkle, I also do have uh, stars available. I will be using anything I earn from the stars uh, to pay for giveaways for those of you who watch. So if you are so inclined, oh, I would love it if you would send some stars. And if you would like to get notifications, unless Facebook is going to be weird, <clears throat> you can tap the anywhere on the screen and there's three buttons up at the top right. Tap those and turn on your notifications. <clears throat> okay. So now the second thing I'm going to try tonight, I bought, <clears throat> excuse me, printable vinyl sheets. Now I took one of them and I sanded it a little bit and then I cleaned it off and then I prepped them. The other is exactly straight out of the bag. So we're going to see if I can print on these because I have so many ideas. <clears throat> so we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Pardon me. Let me get a drink. As usual, I came racing home and ate my lunch very quickly or my dinner very quickly. So let's see. We want to use this one. Actually, I want, let's use this one. And, yeah, that's, that's a good one. I think I will use a light yellow and a blue. So let's see how this works. Again, I will start with white. <clears throat> But if you uh, post your favorite flower, and then I'll see what patterns that I can find for cross stitch to work on that cloth. I'm going to lean up against the tank where it's had water running down. So this, I use several different brands of paint when I marble. Um, it's so interesting how they all behave you want them all to do the same thing but they do they behave a little bit differently and i do have i bought some um liquitex basic basics acrylics to try i have not mixed them up yet so that's all i need is a, a fourth brand Okay, again, just laying down a white base. Now, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll comb this pattern. 
This is very similar to the color I just used before. Apparently, I am partial to light blue today. I'm just trying to use colors that are not too bold. I sometimes have colors, uh, the bolder colors sometimes want to run, especially when I'm using, you know, a new material. So if I can use a little bit of a paint color that does not have quite so much pigment in it, we'll see if I can convince it that it wants to stick to that vinyl. Now the second issue I could have, if I do get it to stick, I don't know what's going to happen under the um, heat. Will the paint burn? Will it get all brown? I don't know. So that's kind of experimentation all over the place tonight. Obviously, it won't be dry enough for me to marble with it tonight, it, assuming I can get it to stick. But I've been thinking about this since I heard there was printable vinyl. So it doesn't hurt anything to try it out. Now, if you're new, the, um, the paints, you can drop one color right on top of the other. They do not blend when they're on the surface of the water. I think that's pretty good right there. So this is the traditional way to begin. <clears throat> Just a back and forth motion. There are um, rakes that you can make that will do this design in just a couple passes. I love doing this part. Moving the paint is the most fun for me. It's very relaxing. Whenever you've had a stressful day, I can come home and just move the paint and the stress goes right away. Even when the projects don't turn out like I want them to, that's all right. And I'm also interested to see if one of these sheets takes the um, marbling and one doesn't, because they prepped a little different. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I had to do um, two sheets just because I wanted to know what's gonna work best All right, and I always take a moment and dry the pins off. These are just, ouch, um, corsage pins. Some of them are loose. I need to glue some of them back in place. But they still, ouch, they're, they're very sharp and they keep poking me because I keep looking away from what I'm doing. I keep trying to look at you, but you're not there. <clears throat> All right, I'll set this over here. All right, and now because I cannot help myself, we need to make some swirls in here. I mean, I need to remember that this sheet is only an eight and a half by 11. All right, so this one is not sanded. So let's see what we get. And I'm going to put it on here in a diagonal. All right. Let me get my board up here. We will pull this out just like we would if it was a sheet of paper. Okay, here we go. There's a bubble on it, but there is, see there's a bubble, there was a bubble right here and there is still a bubble there and a bubble there. So I, I didn't put it down very well. And I'm going to drain some of the excess size off of it. But it looks like it printed. Can you see that? 
Oh my gosh, guys. So let me go put this in the other room. I'm not going to rinse this one like I would. Um, oh, maybe I'll try it. Let's try it. I'll just take a measuring cup and gently run some just plain regular water right over the top of this. When I decided to try this, I thought if I can work on glass, certainly I can work on vinyl. And it stayed. It stayed, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So this is post-rinsing. Oh, I can't tell you how excited I am. All right, so let's try another one. Let's see if there's any difference in the way it takes the paint versus the, the, the non-sanded versus the sanded. Oh my gosh, guys, I am so excited. I can't stand it. Again, I'm just placing this down on the surface to absorb the excess paint. I'm trying to get any bubbles out from under here because you saw what happens if there's a bubble, then the uh, paint doesn't adhere and we want all the paint off of the surface. And I apologize, I can't see any of the comments. Bubbles are not your friend when you're marbling. All right, let me get one more time. Let me clear that once more. I just keep trying to uh, refresh my screen to see if I will pop up on there, but no. Nope. When you're marbling, sometimes color will sink and you can see it moving around under the surface. That never impacts your design because we only deal with the surface. All right, let me wipe off the front of the tank where I dribble water all over it prefer not to get my feet wet. Okay, so I'm gonna keep that yellow. So we're gonna use four colors this time. Fresh new paper towel, cause you know this has to, has to happen. About time to refill my white. And this is solely for surface tension. I could di go directly to my colors if I wanted, but you're gonna use a lot more of the color than you do white. Some colors are a lot more expensive than other colors. So I try to always start with a white to lay a base down. Now the rest of the colors, you can add as much or as little as you want, wherever you want.
I always like to use my um, reddish tones first when I'm putting down colors because <clears throat> then they get pushed and they look more, much more red. They have a tendency to go pink on you, or at least they do me. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a me issue, but I find when I put that in, I've got a bubble right up here in the corner. When I put that in first, I'm much happier with the way my colors come out. So I have um, like an orangey red, a yellow, a pale yellow, and then this pink. And in my experience, I have to keep one paint line at all times just in, per project. I can only use one of my paint lines. I can't mix them up. They never work for me. I've read that others can do it, but they haven't expressed the technique to me yet because I can't figure it out. So that's pretty good. So now freestyle or shall I comb? I'm sorry, I can't see the comments, I guess. Let's freestyle this one. I'm working with a fairly small piece of paper. It's only eight and a half by 11. So my colors can't be in big chunks. Oh, this is the best part. I wish I could have you all right here, right beside me working in your own tank. And if you're interested in a workshop where you get all the materials to do this and then we work through everything step by step, you let me know. It's a virtual workshop, but just leave it in the comments if you're interested in something like that. Oh, I just love that spot right there. And you can just move this paint wherever you like, whatever makes you happy. I got to talk to my youngest daughter today. She has interviews on Saturday or Friday, Saturday, and then a week from Friday. For vet school so oh if you want to say a prayer for her that she gets in I would appreciate that this would be um, a lifelong goal for her all right let's see what this does now this I sanded it I wiped it down and then I prepped it let's see if it makes a difference so let me see if I can put this down a little bit more gently. And I'm not going to waste this. I prepared some more um, coffee filters. So we're going to put as many coffee filters as I can get in here. And you can just barely see the outline, so I'm trying to uh, maximize my space here. So one, two, three, four, five. So I'll need to do another tank with these colors and put the last three in. So let's get this off of here. Get the vinyl off and see what we did. I 
I cannot even express how excited this makes me. I'm going to be useless at work tomorrow because I'm going to want to come home and play with this. And I have other things I need to be doing. I'm going to go take it in the other room and put it up to dry. So there it is rinsed. I have such a habit of uh, turning out the light when I come from out of a room that I'm always, I'm going right back in there and I still turned it off. So now let's take out the coffee filters. So let me rinse these. Now I knew these would work. I have marbled coffee filters before. That was kind of a whim thing to do because I always clean when I marbled, or not when I marble, when I'm working with um, tumblers, I do epoxy tumblers that I have, I put uh, marbled fabric on and I wipe them down with alcohol with a coffee filter. And so I thought, huh, I wonder if these will marble. They're paper. And I use rice paper a lot, so I thought I'd try it, and they work great. I haven't done anything with them yet, but... I have to, I'm pretty short and I have no arms, so I have to reach across, whoops, I need that up here, reach across the entire width of our tub. I have a rack set up in there to um, hold the paper <laughs> and it's quite a stretch for me. And then these things want to fold onto themselves and stick on themselves, so it's a little bit of a challenge. Okay, let me rinse these. And yes, I am going to try some um, coffee filter flowers. Try not to lose the coffee filter into the rinse bin because I just have two bins. I have a bucket of water and then I have another bin that I rinse into, and they like to slide down the, the cutting board into the bin. And I have to keep it just at the right angle so I don't lose the coffee filter and I don't get water on the floor. All right. Grab this towel so I don't drip.
Oh, that back row is filled now, so it'll be a little quicker for me to reach it with no arms. Okay, here's the last one in this tank. I still can't believe my iPad. It's staying on, number one. I don't know why it hasn't just gone to black screen yet, because I haven't touched it in a while. And um, I'm still not showing up. So frustrating. Again, if you would sprinkle out the video, I would appreciate it. So I'll have to do a live when I um, cut and try to press that vinyl on something. That is just too exciting. I'm glad it works though because I had to buy a whole package of it. I could have I could have found something to print on it, but this is much more fun. Oh, and I think I know what I want to do, at least with one of them. Ideas. I never run out of ideas. That's implementing all the ideas that the, that is the hard part. These little bubbles, the color gets caught up in those bubbles and it just floats inside the bubble. And when you pop it, then the, it releases the color out on the surface and sometimes they don't wanna pop. All right, so let me dry my hands and get a fresh paper towel. And let's see, how many did I do? Five, I think I need three. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I need three more in that colorway. I'll bring you along when I do, um, when I actually make the flowers. Or at least attempt to make the flowers. I've never done that before. I've watched a few videos. YouTube is my friend. I get ideas from there all the time. I'll look at something and go, well, but why can't you do this? And then I'll go off in kind of a different direction. But it gives me the basics of what I need. I learned how to put, when we were moving back home, when we lived in uh, Southern California, it was finally time for me to get out of there. Um, my husband worked away from home then, and um, so it was up to me to kind of update the house, and I, we put in some new tile and, you know, all the fun stuff you do before you sell a house, and it was so pretty. But then I laid down some gorgeous um, base moldings in the house. I'd never done it before, and I learned how to do that on YouTube. And it looked pretty good. It was actually, when I was taking out the stuff that was there originally in a few places, I thought my job was better than what they had put in. I did my corners. It was just, and we had uh, the bull nose corners in our house. So there was, you know, you don't have to be square if you have all those bull nose. So I got it, I got it all done. It was a fairly large house. So that was a big job. It looked so nice when I was done. 
remember taking pictures and texting him to my husband. Look what I did. My first corner. And I'm perfectly fine with this if the, um, the colors, I don't have balanced colors that match the other three. If you look at nature, things aren't exact from one leaf or one petal to the next. So I'm really not going to stress about that at all. So now we did just the free form. So I'm going to continue that with this. And I know this tank is far larger than what I needed to just do three. I could have put down a piece of uh, newsprint to kind of block off. Whoops, I just leaned on the table and you could see it. Block off part of that. But I want to do the full tank and then choose where I put the coffee filters down. And I want to make sure they fit. Now, I, these are just flattened coffee filters. I just prep them like I usually do, and then I press them. All right, I'm happy with that, so I need three. So let's do one right here. These just take the paint so great. And then look at that. <laughs> Just the process of it taking the paint makes me so happy. And see these little spots here? Can you see those? No. Can you see this one? No. Can you see that right there? That little spot right here? And there's some smaller ones right here. That's where there's no paint at all. And um, that's okay because then the, just the coffee filter color will show through. Okay, let's pull these out, see what we're gonna get. And there's one, and there's the other. And I'm not gonna try to get the third one on here because I don't want it falling into the rinse bucket. Last time I did these, I did lose one into the rinse bucket and it just stuck to itself. And I got it out, but it wasn't that easy. Remember, leave me um, your favorite flower. What kind of a flower do you think I should cross stitch onto that idea cloth? That will help me select a pattern. That color of blue that I used for that, it has a funny smell to it and I don't know why. It's, it smells kind of like rotten eggs, but it's so pretty. One more to pull out of this tank. Are you still with me? I can't even see. And there's the last one. And I have one more set of eight to do. 
And I'm not 100% sure I can get eight in this tank. Usually when I do these kind of larger, well, it's not larger, but if I know I need lots of room, I'll use my scarf tank. This is my bandana tank. So it fits a 24 by 24 bandana in it. And usually I use my scarf tank so I can just lay everything out. I know it'll all work in one batch, but it's too cold in the garage. I like to work in the garage because then I can, then can do be a little bit messier because I like to you know tap the paint on the water it gives it such a different look but um, but it's too cold out there it's either too cold or it's too hot in the summer I tell you One of these days I'm gonna have a shop that we can keep at a constant temperature. And it doesn't matter if I get paint on the floor. I am so sorry I can't see comments if you're asking questions. I will go back later and answer them. Assuming there's anybody out there. Okay. All right, so I should have eight more to do. And I've got bubbles, darn it. Okay, let's get these out of the way. And then I know Trying to decide my colors here. Okay. I'm on a blue kick tonight. And I think I might be consistent. All my other, um, what will be flowers, have yellow in it. So I'm going to throw some yellow in here as well. So this is my color palette for these flowers. Let me get my, uh... so right over here on the edge, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of red I can see still floating. So let's take a paper towel. I don't like to use the paper towel because it takes out a lot more of the water than the uh, newsprint does. But I'm going to use it so you can see what I'm seeing. Now see, can you see that faint red right there? That's what I was seeing on the surface. All right, that's better. And sometimes I'll be working away and I'll see it and I just take the corner of the paper towel and just dab the color right off the surface. I can also, I have a tool that I can use that just pushes it to the bottom. So there's a couple ways to get the color out. I usually just dab it though. Now there's a little bit of the red right over here in the up bar corner, but I'm gonna leave it. I don't think I'll be working in that corner. And this white is just pushing everything to the side. So I think we'll be good.
Look how pretty this color is. I know that I have never seen turquoise or teal flowers, but since I'm making the flowers, I get to pick what colors they are, right? And in my world, there's going to be flowers that have teal on them. And we'll do some yellow. Gosh, that's a gorgeous color. I hope it's coming across well on the screen. Let's see, tonight's Tuesday, isn't it? I'm all confused at what night it is now. Okay, now we'll get some blue in here. And that yellow looks very green. It is a green yellow, but when I pull it off, you'll see it is yellow. Oh, what I just did there, that was a pour. A bunch of that will have sunk. You do not want to pour. You want to just drop the paint on. Each paint color comes out at a different rate. Even though it's the same brand, it just they just move differently. And I have bubbles here. So I'm working with these bubbles that I created. All right happy with that oops there I go leaning on the table again these are the, the table I'm using is just the ones that fold in half from Costco so they're not the sturdiest when you have this water sitting on it I mix my um, water that's in the tank with uh, seaweed powder in three gallon bottles because I usually fill this tank or my great big um, scarf tank or my hat bin and this and this only has one bottle in it tonight sometimes I'll put two in here if I'm gonna have a busy show I will put two bottles in here, so it, or nearly two, probably one and three quarters. Because every time I pull out the newsprint, it brings some of the water with it, and the it'll get shallow. Have I mentioned that this is my favorite part? You don't want to move the paint so much that you just have little tiny lines of everything. I get children who love to do it because it is fun. And and they can go a little bit overboard, but I always figure it's their masterpiece. If they're happy with it, it doesn't matter what I think about it. But I like to see all the colors. All right, let's see how many of these we can get in here. I think I can get three across. Yes, I can. Now, the right there, they overlapped a little bit. So when I pull that out, let's see if there's a spot that's white. All right, there we go. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All eight of them in there. 
Hot dog, success. Let me move the paint so I don't knock it over. And once again, I forgot, I can use, when I'm working with paper, I can use my metallic paint. And I always forget that. Because it, the metallics do not work on cloth, but they do paper, leather. Come on. So this one wants to fold under and onto itself. Wants to be difficult, so I'm going to rinse it by itself. Okay, now I'll pull it another one out and put it on the other end. And I can use this water more than once. This is probably the third week that I've used this water. It really depends on how much marbling you're doing as to how long it will last and if it stays at a correct temperature. It likes to be stored in a, like I keep mine in the refrigerator. This time of year when it's in the 30s outside, I could probably just set it in the garage. But I, I have a refrigerator just for the water so I just keep it in the garage. Okay, let me take this to the other room. I try to not let them all wrinkle up when they're up on the rack. Now, when I actually, what I watch the videos and people just wring them out and everything, but I don't know. I just feel like they should dry without being all wrinkly. So I try to put them up there gently on the rack. I apologize for not being able to see your comments. I'm so sorry. I will go back and answer questions. Now, it may not be until my lunch hour tomorrow, depending on how long it takes me to clean this up. And I have an order to pack tonight, so... Uh, have a full plate Let me turn this around rinse it from the other side these are going to be some interesting looking flowers assuming they turn out be right back So the vinyl that I did and the reds and the yellow, the red, orange, the pink, and the yellow, it looks like that red wants to run a little bit, which is why I didn't use the red red. So I may need to rinse that one one more time. That green or the yellow still looks very green on here, doesn't it? I 
Probably should have selected my other yellow. And for, if you're wondering, I do have a sheet of plastic on the floor. with an area rug over the top of it. So if I spill, I'm not damaging my actual carpet in my bedroom. This is in my spare bedroom, one of them. I have back behind where you can see, I have the bed turned up on its side. So I have room to uh, create. the last two coming out oh you know I pulled those out right there and I didn't notice if there was a, a blank spot on the edge so there's the last two okay guys let me pull you back up here let me dry my hands Sorry, reaching, reaching. All right, sorry. That's all for tonight. Hey, Marina, how are you? Last week I had earrings to marble and then I dumped them both into my bucket so I didn't get to marble them. Hi, Dee. So um, that's all I have for you tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, and whoever said stars, thank you so much. I appreciate that. So um, I will see you, uh, assuming we have internet, next Monday night for some more marbling. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Oh, I guess today's Tuesday, isn't it? Happy Tuesday. So, oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you, Colleen. So I'll come back and look at the comments. Thank you so much for being here. Enjoy your week. If you're out there and you see somebody you don't even know, give them one of your smiles and I bet they'll smile back. All right, bye everyone.